Hmm. Have I ever told you how snuggly you are? <laughs> yeah, you're really good at cuddling. You are, though. You take classes or something? <laughs> no, I'm not saying you've had so many boyfriends that you... God, shut up. I trust you to twist my words like that. I hate it here. No, don't go anywhere. You're not getting up. <laughs> Back here. Ugh, you're such a pain. And I love you. Hmm. I don't want it to end. <sighs> and then I probably ought to... Probably ought to get up and start packing. <laughs> well, it's a change of pace. Well, maybe I'm tired of you giving me crap for always packing on the last day. It's the second to last day. So I've doubled the amount of time I've given myself. You should be proud. <laughs> You're absolutely impossible. You give me grief for packing on the last day. But then you give me grief for packing before then. Like, what do you want? You want me to pack after I leave? Or on the day of? Because, I mean, those are the, uh, those are the options. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Well, pick a reason. I hate packing. I don't want to stop snuggling you. And packing, packing's going to make it all more real. Um, it makes it so I can't forget that I'm uh, having to go away from you for a while. I love that I get to live my rock star dream. But the time on the road, yeah. It's tiring. It's tiring. And people think that the rock star lifestyle is, you know, all exciting and glamorous. Really what it boils down to is a lot of pressure to keep being creative. A lot of interacting with executives and attorneys. A lot of time on the road, away from home, away from my sweetheart. It's a good thing I like our songs because I would get so tired of playing the same songs over and over and over again if I didn't like them. <laughs> mm. I never like being away from you. Even for like a weekend. This is for months. All right, well... Enough complaining. Let's, uh, let's get up and I'll get to it. Yeah, I'd love your help. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And thank you for making the packing list for me. <sighs> Baby, it makes it so much easier. It makes it so much easier. You know how I can get indecisive and I can feel like the tasks are just piling up in front of me. Like I've got too much stuff to do and having you decompress me like that, making the packing list so I can just follow that and be productive. It, it just, it really helps. It means a lot to me that you do that. Okay, so, you know, I'm thinking a little bit here. Oh, shut up. It's not a bad habit. <laughs> I'm good at thinking, okay? Just shut up. You're going to make me forget. I have an idea. And I, I, I'm not sure how you're going to feel about it. But just hear me out. You know... I 
I'm going to be gone for several months, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I have to be apart from you, does it? And what I'm saying is, why don't you come on tour? No, 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 hear me out, hear me out. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they, they don't have it planned that way, but I'm the talent and I'm a rock star. People expect me to be, you know, psychotic and make screwy decisions. I mean, you know me, I'm a pretty normal dude. I mean, I'm, I'm entitled to weird decision every now and again. They can deal with it. And they'll make space for you. You get to come to all the shows or just hang out, you know, explore the city, that sort of thing. If you get tired of too many shows, you get to see different parts of the country. You get to eat different kinds of food. You get to spend a million hours on a bus, but you get to spend it with me. <laughs> what reasons? Okay, well, let's face it. Your job, you know, with all the changes in the world over the last year and a half, so much of your job can be done like remotely now that, okay, so you might not go into the office for a while. They'll deal with it. It's, it's fine. You tell them it's a, tell them it's a, a, um, a family event <laughs> for three months. Well, the point is, they can, you, you can do your job um, remotely. So it's not like you have to take all that time off of work. You can just video conference into the meetings and everything. Okay, what else then? Baby, the house is going to be fine if it's left unattended. And besides, we can ask my mom to just check on the place every once in a while. It's going to be fine. It'll keep the utility bills down. <laughs> Baby, the pets are going to be fine. We take them to an animal hotel, check them in there. They get fed, they get groomed, they get played with. It'll be good. It'll be good. And besides which, my mom can check them out and take them to her place. You know? It's not like they're going to miss us. It'll be okay. And they'll be so excited to see us when we get back. So don't worry about that. that that's all fine. Yeah, the rest of the band will deal with it. Look, they like you anyway. And, and you know, maybe the next time after that, they'll bring their partners. It can be a party. It can be a big, happy family rock star party. <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't have to if you don't want to and it can be as simple as Matt I just don't want to go I, I, I don't mind well, what makes you nervous about it okay well I get that I get that sometimes spontaneity is kind of difficult you know how I am. I, I generally don't really go for surprises. So I, I feel you completely on that. But um, remember, our first date was pretty spontaneous, right? Our first kiss was pretty spontaneous. Sometimes spontaneity works out. And here's a, here's a big plus for us. I see it as a really good way to get time together, you know, in, instead of three months apart, to spend time building our relationship. We're not going to be having to, you know, entertain friends or family during that time. We're going to get plenty of time together on the tour bus. We can spend a lot more time getting to know each other, building our relationship. What do you say? You will? <laughs> I'm no, I'm really happy about it. I just, you know, I, I I expected you to say no at first and to have some some concerns, but um 
I don't know. Maybe I, I wasn't actually expecting you to say yes at any point. <laughs> I'm thrilled about it, baby. I'm, I can't wait to go with you. This is going to be so, this is going to be so awesome. I love this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess now we got to pack for two, don't we? Well, grab your tablet. Let's make a packing list for you. <laughs> Maybe this is going to be the best tour ever. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I love you too. I love you too. And it's going to be so wonderful to spend all this time with you. All right. Well, let's get to work.